We know that um, there are some links with Zika and the Guillain-Barre syndrome, so um, being aware that although Zika may not be that painful for you, there are other things that could happen that, that are pretty detrimental. Um, and, and it's also, we're finding every day that there are more and more links with Zika and other neurological disorders. Um, primarily, the concern is with pregnant women because of the microcephaly and other birth defects that Zika can cause if you are pregnant and you get Zika, but everybody should be concerned about it. Well, the, the main things are to avoid mosquitoes, and, and that would be to go in the backyard, drain any of the standing water. If you have any breeding sites, try to eliminate those. The thing about Zika is that this is a mosquito that breeds in our backyards. It's not up to the city to go around and fog for us. It's really ultimately our responsibility. And then if you're going to be outside, there's still gonna be mosquitoes no matter if you eliminate all the water that you can possibly find, wear some insect repellent and reapply it at the proper time to reapply it so you're not getting the bites. If you don't have a bite, you don't get the disease. So the four Ds are to drain standing water, and that's eliminating the, the breeding sites where they're gonna lay their eggs so you don't get the adult form that transmits the disease. Dress in long sleeves and pants, and make sure they're loose so if you're gonna be outside, they can't bite through your, your, through your clothing. Um, stay indoors during dawn and dusk, although this species of mosquito is active during the day. Um, so that's, that will help, but you'll still get, you still want to avoid them altogether. And then defend yourself by wearing some sort of an insect repellent. It's a lot easier to control mosquitoes as a larva because we know they're in the water. So if you can eliminate a water source, say it's somebody's pool that's not maintained in the backyard, it's a small little area. If you allow those mosquitoes to become adult, now spread in a mile radius all around that pool. And so you can dump the water out. If it's water that's too big to dump out, like maybe if it's a dog dish, you want to dump that out every few days and refill it. But if it's something heavy, like a big bird bath or a fountain or a, or a pool, uh, there are mosquito dunks that you can purchase. There's fish that you can put in the water. Mosquito dunks are probably the most effective and they last for about 30 days.